I have learned so much about hair products over the years and I talk to you guys every day so I know that you are frustrated about products. These are some five tips that you can implement in how you buy your products and just the way that you think about products that are going to help you in getting the right product for your hair. Without any further ado, let's get into it. It's Zinkle Africa and I'm so grateful to have you here. I don't have a lot of time to record this video but it's so important and I hope I can do this in less than 10 minutes so let's get into it. For the first point I just I'm so shocked till this day that brands still do this right they obviously want as much money as they can get from us right and you know this one this one is crazy but the thing is and I've been here this was my routine years back. I would shampoo, use a basic conditioner, and then I would rinse that out and use a deep conditioner. Get out of the shower, let it marinate, come back into the shower, and then rinse it out. That's not it. That's not, that's not where it stops. Like, then, <laughs> then I would rinse out that deep conditioner né? and then i would you know kind of like get my hair to be as dry as i can in the shower do i not take a leave in conditioner after that <laughs> guys i was spending money one thing i wish i knew earlier was that a basic conditioner is the same thing as a deep conditioner is the same thing as a, a leave-in conditioner the formulations are different certain things are added here and there just so there can be that distinction between the three of them but it's essentially the same thing so especially if you are on a tight budget buy a basic conditioner right a decent basic conditioner you can actually use that in your hair as a leave-in conditioner just add a few oils use it as a leave-in conditioner and then in terms of making it a deep conditioner you can then you know add a lot more oils especially coconut oil guys coconut oil works amazing as a deep conditioning treatment put that in your hair and you're done so to save money just buy a basic conditioner in fact it is a three-in-one but they won't tell you that they want you to keep buying and keep buying and keep buying like huh. second point is i feel like it's a marketing gimmick right if you see the outside of the product it will say infused with olive oil infused with amla oil infused with uh castor oil infused with aloe rosemary and mint like all the popular items of that time is what they're going to put at the front of the product because they're trying to pull you in right and then once they've ruled you in they know that you're not going to look at the back of the packaging right most people will just take it and be like oh yeah we're influenced by social media especially tiktok you know in the recent years and that's why you know rosemary is a big thing mint is a big thing now it's always been big but they know that people are researching on these things there's just hype around certain ingredients and they will try and capitalize on that hype that is happening at that time and they'll try and reel you in so the thing is the trick here is <laughs> when you are attracted to a product and they say that oh this has aloe vera in it turn it back look at the actual ingredients and look at where that ingredient is placed in the ingredient list if it's at the top of the list they have really invested a lot of that ingredient in the product if it is close to the bottom of that ingredient list that means like that means it's not even like they put like a teaspoon or they put like a spoon like they didn't even put a lot of that ingredient in there and the whole time it was just a gimmick so that's a big red flag for me and it is a product that i can't really trust because you're using so many tricks on me just tell me what's in the ingredients and just market it the right way if a product says it has aloe in it i want to see aloe at the top of that list like one of the first ingredients on that list and that's how i know that i can actually trust the brand i can trust that they're being transparent and they're not using tricks to get me to buy so if i was elected president of my country i would end <laughs> the sale of cheap products they don't help nobody it's like they used all the chemicals 
that they could in these products controversial ingredients harsh ingredients all of it all of it they use it in their products fine and then they still had some lift and then they decided to saturate certain products with ingredients that are just that the ugh, ugh. <laughs> like i'm so irritated with this but like the longer you use cheap highly synthesized products with harsh chemicals with questionable chemicals you will see the results of your actions in your hair you know from a distance i can already tell when someone is using cheap products just by looking at their hair whether you have relaxed hair whether you have textilized hair whether you have natural hair i can tell the quality of your products just by looking at your hair and that's how deep it is in terms of cheap products like it is an absolute no-no like absolute no you know unless it's grease you know and people people have their own love-hate relationship with grease like you know do as as you want but usually cheap products will not help you in the long run so rather try and in if you don't have a lot of money please buy an affordable product and if you still don't have money for an affordable product that's when you actually have to go into the food section get your olive oil get your castor oil it will help you so much do not underestimate natural organic ingredients in replacement of cheap products because cheap products will not <laughs> they will not work as well as everything else and i'm telling you now leave them alone like mm. another thing brands won't tell you is that natural hair is so simple and it just loves the basics you don't need a lot of product you don't need to complicate things everything is just simple all you need is shampoo you need conditioner you need a moisturizer and you need an oil that you can use on the lens of your hair and also on your scalp that is four products they're not going to tell you that but you really need four products for you to have the hair of your dreams most of the work is already done for us god has already taken care of everything for us we don't have to be scientists for our products to work for us to enjoy our routines for things to be easy for us to get to all of the hair goals that we have for our hair they're not gonna tell you that so for the last point that i want to share i want to share about how brands will take advantage of your lack of knowledge and it's so important that you firstly get to know your hair on a personal intimate level and also have some idea of what's going on in terms of hair products what's happening in your natural hair community and um, it's gonna help you so much in making the right decisions so for example a lot of brands have said that no it will grow your hair like no this product will grow your hair and honestly and i always say this i have two examples but I always say this, number one, the primary source of your hair growth comes from within. Um, it comes from internally in your body, right? That hair follicle has to be there for there to be growth and only God can get your hair to grow and, and only your body has that natural ability to get your hair to grow. Products can boost that hair growth that is already there and products can help you when you have a certain issue that you're dealing with with your hair already. But products aren't miracle workers um, in terms of hair growth in the follicle, right? And then my second example is there are so many products that say that they repair split ends. and maybe maybe i need to do more research on this you know um but i personally i don't believe a product when it says split end repair or split split end uh, repair serum or whatever they say like you can i definitely understand preventing split ends but i don't understand repairing split ends because if products could really repair our split ends then a lot of us if not all of us or most of us would not be trimming our ends because we would have products to take care of those ends you know they wouldn't be they wouldn't be split ends do you get like hello 
it doesn't make sense and if there is a product that can repair my split ends i need you to prove it i need you to do a test in the lab i need a medical report i need i need i need receipts i need receipts you're gonna have to prove to me that your product can actually repair my split ends you know what i mean you know otherwise i'm not buying it so you know they take advantage of certain things and i don't know how many people are buying split end repair in in split end this split end this i understand frizz but like split ends no ways. Anyways, that is the end of the video. So have you noticed these red flags? Did you know about these red flags? Please let me know down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Other than that, love, light and blessings to you. Bye. Mwah.